All right, what's going on, everybody? So, figured I would make my 2021 72 hour kit or bug out bag um, just explanation video, show you what I've got in here. I don't have everything in here, like water. I have a gallon sized water I would take with me, and then I do need to get some water purification tablets and stuff. But let's go with the loadout. Um, so if I was going to leave, I would definitely bring my handgun, my Glock 19. Again, this is unloaded, nothing in the chamber. I'm not going to show you, but there's nothing in the chamber. Um, but again, this is a Glock 19. So I would bring that with me. And then I would bring my Smith and Wesson M&P 1522, mostly because 22, I mean, if you needed to, um, hunt or anything if you were out there for longer than 72 hours a 22 is definitely something good to have i might bring i have a other 22 that has a scope on it i would possibly bring that but for ease of use and capacity um i'd probably bring my smith and wesson and p 1522 but um that's the firearms i would bring and now i'll show you what um my 72 hour kit has in it all right, so for my 72 hour kit, um, the bag that I have, it's just an Amazon bag. If I can find a link, I'll put it in the description, but um, we'll start with the outside stuff first. It's gonna be hard doing this with one hand, but there's this first big pocket. And in here I have all of my um, radio equipment I have this is a Baofeng um, UV5R. I have the regular battery pack in there. Um, I have the antenna. I have a pin in here. And I have the extended battery pack, like the rechargeable. But then I also have, this is one um, by Baofeng that takes um, AA batteries, which is a good alternative in case, you know, you can't charge your radio so i have some double a's somewhere in my pack too um i have a flashlight down here this is just one of those um mag light um what is it called is it called the it's not the mini Mi well yeah the mini mag light the led version um and i've put a tail switch on it and a little um what's it called belt clip or just a clip so i have that and then i do have um some batteries in here i think these are yeah these are just regular double a's i do have some rechargeables in here somewhere as well and then i have a saw so that's what's in the first pouch up here i have um, some matches, flint and steel, and a lighter. Um, I also brought, so I, I have this lighter too I might put in here. I actually just got done refinishing this. I mean, there's still, I mean, the polish isn't that great on it, but it is a lot better than it was. Um, but you could, you could carry one of these Zippo lighters. Um, I will suggest, I mean, I carry, my everyday carry is also a Zippo lighter, um, but I'm thinking about, they make um, drop-ins for this that is butane, and so the it doesn't run out as fast. If you have a Zippo, you know how fast this, um, the fuel dries up if you don't use it. Um, so that's one downside to these, but if you're going to carry, I mean, this is a great lighter. If you can fit some extra fuel and you can pretty much use any flammable liquid in here like you can use gas it's not gonna light up as quick um, but you can use it um, in other flammable liquids if you had to in a survival situation but um, you can use a zippo but for right now what i have in here is just a cheap um it's a dollar store little lighter basically a bic but not big brand um, and then I have a few things I've got my cutlery 
And then I have um, some toiletries. I've got a toothbrush, toothpaste, um, and some chapstick in there. Um, these matches are, um, I think they're, yeah, waterproof. So those are always good to have. All right, so next pouch. So in here I have a small first aid kit. It's got just like, it's like a boo-boo first aid kit. Um, and then duct tape, that's always very useful. And then in here I basically have um, all my food. So this came out of a um, 72 hour food kit. So I've got all my food in here. I've got it all um, bagaged um, twice. So just, I've got the regular packaging and then I've put it all in Ziplocs. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna pull everything out, but it's just 72 hours worth of food for one person. I mean, if you had to split it between two people, you easily could. Uh, if you were just trying to survive and you knew you were gonna be able to get back home. Um, so that's what's in that front pouch. I'm just gonna set you down real quick so I can zip this back up. All right, I'm gonna go this back pouch here. So in here, I'll pull it out. I have a change of clothes. So I've got a pair of long pants and I've got a flannel. Um, I have a hat. I've got a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> You can, I mean, you always need layers, so it's always good to pack layers. I have a belt. I might take this out of here, but because I usually do wear a belt, but I just figured I'd put this in here for now, just in case. You know, you never know when you're going to have to leave, so it's always good to have, you know, what you need. Um, let's see. I have, I think in here, so I have a, just a beanie. And in here I have underwear, um, gloves, and I also have one of these um, masks. I mean, it's like the, I, I wear them for fishing, but it's just like little um, mask things that you can wear for, to keep you safe from the sun and stuff. So I have that. And then I have a short sleeve t-shirt. Let's see, in here, let's see, I've got some oatmeal, it looks like, and some tin foil. And then I have, oh, so this is some of my power stuff. So this is a charger that's a solar charger, it has panels on it. And then I've got like um, an extra iPhone charger, iPhone cord, um, micro USB, um, Apple Watch, things like that. You know, that you don't really don't need those, but it's always good to have an iPhone cord. You don't really need your Apple Watch charger or anything, but it's always good to have what you need, you know. Be more prepared than you need to be. And then I've got some, um, some medicine in here, some allergies, some aspirin, some ibuprofen, and some mucus relief, just basic stuff. Um, let's see, uh, I've got some wet wipes, so antibacterial wipes. You can use these to do a quick shower. Um, if you don't have a way of taking a shower where you are, you can use these to just wipe yourself down. Um, let's see, and then I have some rags. Those are always useful. And then in here I have um, some sterno fuel and um, a little pop. All right, I'm going to pack all this up and then I'll show you. There are a few things on the outside, um, but that's, I mean, basically it. Let's see. Actually, the only other thing I have on the outside is this, uh, what knife is it? Oh, yeah, Morknev knife. I think these are made in, are these made in Sweden? 
yeah, made in Sweden, stainless steel. This is a really just good all around knife. You can use it for cooking. You can use it if you need to, um, you know, do any woodworking kind of stuff. I mean, not big, but it's useful. And then I daily carry um, this little um, CRKT knife. Uh, this is the squid, um, really good sturdy knife. So it's always good to carry a knife on you every day. Um, but I do have a bigger knife here and that's it. Like I said, um, there is some other stuff I need to get, um, like some water purification tablets or a life straw. Um, but if you guys can think of any other stuff I should throw in this pack, let me know. And, uh, thanks guys. Psych. I'm just kidding. So I forgot in this pouch, I do have some cordage. So you don't ever want to be without cordage. Um, and then I feel like I did miss something. I think in here, mm, is it in here? Oh yeah, I do have a compass as well. So this is always great. Um, I need to put some maps in here. I have my atlet, my, my road atlas that I need to put in here. But you know, if um, your cell phone can't get GPS signal, then or if you have a GPS and it can't get signal, it's always good to be able to have a map and a compass and be able to um, find your way around without relying on technology. So that's it. So cordage, compass, and that's it. All right, this is the real end of the video. Thanks, guys. Leave me your comments down below, suggestions, everything. Um, I know there's stuff that's lacking in here, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I've got and what I've put together for this year. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Psych. I'm just kidding. So I forgot in this pouch, I do have some cordage. So you don't ever want to be without cordage. Um, and then I feel like I did miss something. I think in here. Mm, is it in here? Oh, yeah. I do have a compass as well. So this is always great. Um, I need to put some maps in here. I have my atlet, my, my road atlas that I need to put in here. But you know, if um, your cell phone can't get GPS signal, then, or if you have a GPS and it can't get signal, it's always good to be able to have a map and a compass and be able to um, find your way around without relying on technology. So. That's it. So cordage, compass, and that's it. All right. This is the real end of the video. Thanks, guys. Leave me your comments down below, suggestions, everything. Um, I know there's stuff that's lacking in here, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I've got and what I've put together for this year. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.